So what are these 10 key sounds, right? And I'll just quickly show you the spectrum here. It goes from Aum to Aim to Rheem to Shreem to Kreem to Kleem, Hum, Kleem, Stream, Dream. These are the 10 key sounds of the garland of letters of the Shakti Bija mantras, the power mantras. We're going from all this elaborate cosmology to nothingness. And I'm getting you to nothingness through all these means, you know. That's what we're trying to do, is to get to nothingness. But it's nice to build architecture around nothingness, right? It's nice to build a kind of, oh, yeah, that's a nice building. All right, that looks nice. And then off you go again to nothingness. You know, it's a nice structure. That's all it is, right? So, Ao in Shakti, the Oye Ao sound is ascent, which means... Yes, 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 like orgasmic almost. That means Om is the pranic source energy of Shiva, masculine energy. But ascent is feminine, which pulls Kundalini by agreeing to awaken. A, a, a feminine energy must agree to awaken. This is very powerful medicine to understand. That it's chanting Aum in Shakti is to say, Aum, I agree. And then mm, I dissolve into you. So I have to agree to receive consciousness, to receive the phallus, to receive the power, to receive the male, to receive the other. I have to agree to this. And this is Aum. So we're not doing the masculine of Om or Brahma, Vishnu and, and Rudra, but Ao, oh, we're agreeing to do this. So Om, Aum is more powerful because it permeates everything. It is the energy of the sun. It clears negative energy in space. And it, it should be ideally, before you start any mantras, do a few Oms and then go into it. You know, Om always starts all mantras to clear the energy path brings prana in. And Aum is the unmanifest nature of the first sound. That means Ao is the beginning of manifestation, mm, dissolution. So Aum is the first Shakti mantra. The second Shakti Bij mantra is Aim. Aim. The flow, Aim. The feminine Shakti aspect of Om. Aim is the vowel sounds in all sounds. Prana, source, energy in sound. It is the power in sound to make anything happen. It is the sound of Adi Shakti, the feminine principle. The first mother. It is the Bija of Saraswati. Learning, art, creativity, education. It is also the Bija of the Guru or the highest stream of consciousness that pours into you from the gurus above. Aim is motivation, direction, intention, focus. Eem, that E sound. I improves your health in your throat, your voice and your vocal cords and makes you speak beautifully, sing beautifully, all that stuff comes with Aim. And in astrology, Aim is Mercury and the moon, communication, expression. And in Vastu, in your architecture, it clears the environment for learning and wisdom. So when you chant just I'm, you are dealing with pure download of information. If you want to learn something, if you want to get knowledge, if you want to become a better communicator, to speak well, to design well, to make beautiful things, to create things in the world, then Aim is both Saraswati and Matangi in the Dash Mahavidya. She is both. That means she is both the Shama that can create everything and can make universes with sound. So when you meditate on Aim, you are creating new universes for yourself, right? It is like we saw earlier in the meditation I did with you today. Just from that nothingness, if I paint with an eye, something magical begins to percolate out there. You know, it's like an eye. 
And literally, you can just sit there all day and chant I'm and see what happens. You know, they say that if you chant I'm 10,000 times, Ma Saraswati will appear. So, there's a challenge for you. You want Ma Saraswati to come and give you knowledge, do it 10,000 times and see what happens. <laughs> but with feeling, with passion, that means not I'm, 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 are you coming yet? Have you come yet? I'm, 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 no. It's I'm. From that Turiya, I'm, I'm, I'm. Isn't that beautiful? Hreem is the power of the sun, solar energy. Hreem in everything to do with creation. That means the making of this power that required to make everything. Ha indicates prana, space and light, the power of prana to come into everything. Ra indicates fire, light and dharma. And E, I, E indicates energy, focus and movement towards something. So when you combine the two together and end it with the Anuswara, um, Harim, you get the full power of Shiva, Mother, all in one, bam. That's why Harim is the most common beach mantra in Shakti mantras. It's everywhere. Right? I'm Hreem Shreem, I'm Kleem So It's everywhere. Ha and Sa are everywhere. Ha, Shiva coming into being, into consciousness. Sha, going back into grace of consciousness from energy. Hreem is Parvati or Mahamaya, Bhuvaneshwari, Three Devi, all the mother goddesses of the cosmos and the earth. She's all of that. Hreem is the sound of magic, of force, of captivation, of empowerment. Hari purifies us and raises us to our quest. So Hari is the sound of the heart chakra, Ridhaya. That's why if I focus on my right nipple, I am activating the Ridhaya of Hreem. And left is Ida, Shreem. So Hreem and Shreem are two sides and Kleem are all in the heart. All three are really in the heart, even though Reem happens to feel like a third eye exploding. It's actually in the heart. It's the Ridhaya. It purifies us in the heart. It activates the heartbeat, the flow of blood, the flow of energy in me. All that comes from Reem. So Reem is the energy that keeps me alive and prana going through me. Reem activates, improves my health through the heart. Harim is the sun and the solar energy of the heart and vitality. Sun gazing in the morning is Harim. Harim, soft. If it's chanted softly, it increases your subtle consciousness energy. Harim, Harim, Harim. But if I do it powerfully, Harim, 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 I can literally take over your mind. That's how it works. It's hypnotic. Right? So be, be aware of the power of Reem in subtle ways like Reem, Reem, Reem. So when you say, Ka -e -e -la -reem, right? Then it is like a, oh, I'm Reem, Kleem, Chamunda, Eviche. It is sensual and soft and subtle. If you go power, ka e e la hrim, hasaka halarim, saka la hrim, aim hrim, klim, chamundaya viche. It is like a force of prana pushing into action. You become Durga, Dum, all that starts happening for you. So hrim works in both ways, right? Shreem, my favorite, my personal favorite. Shreem is lunar. It is the moon. Attracts grace, beneficence, and all that is good. Shreem is positive, splendor, luminous, golden moon. Dot. Shreem and Hreem go together for sun and moon, or new moon and cream also go together. New moon and full moon. So Shreem and Hreem and Shreem and cream go together. Shreem is Lakshmi, abundance and benevolence. Shreem is also surrender. 
Shri is splendor or luminous beauty. Shri is the ruler of the heart, the center of Vidhaya of the give and take. And it makes everything better. Ah, you can't go wrong with Shreem. Shreem is the power mantra. Shreem is the moon and activated by Venus and Jupiter. Shreem has a soothing effect on the mind and emotions, allowing us to surrender to divine grace and to take refuge in higher self. That's the core why Shreem is the, one of the most important of these mantras. Cream is Kali, electric power, the energy of the universe of instant lightning, electricity, power, the Tesla power force in you is cream. You know, Ka represents power, Kundalini, the initial blast of energy. Ra represents, indicates fire, like we saw before, light. E, energy, focus, direction, motivation. Cream is the full, most important consonant mantra there is. Cream, Ka, cream, and it brings Kali the Shakti of time and alchemical transformation. Kri is ruling over space, time and causality. It destroys karma, the sound Kri. Kri. Kriim is called the Vidyut Shakti. That means instant energization of everything. If you call Kriim, you watch out. Everything will be removed. You will be instantly blasted to the other side. Kriim is the Bija of yoga. So when you want to do yoga, Yoga means union. You shut down the body, shut down the mind with cream. Right? Cream is, releases adrenaline and power in the healing and wind and fire in you. It's Mars as work and effort. And it's a power mantra. And if you add it with whom, like cream, 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 whom, whom, hream, hream, my God, how much more power do you want than that? So just think about it, right? When you combine cream, with Harim and Hum, you are literally asking for trouble because you're telling the universe, I'm ready. Right? Now, this is not the loving Lakshmi, Mother Mary coming and holding you and kissing you. No. This is the mother who says, you ready? All right, let's go. If you want people to clear the path for you, cream. If you want to be courageous and fearless, cream. If you need help and you need people to come and cut off heads and remove obstacles, cream. Does that make sense? But be careful. Because everything that is obstacle to you will be removed. Including partners, family members, everything can be in the obstacle in the path. So be careful what you ask for, because you will get it. <laughs> That's why we shream, because shream is loving, kind. And also, you later see stream and trima there also. That means Kali, but the kinder version of Kali, stream in Tara, right, is there. Okay, everybody with me so far? Don't fall asleep now. Come on. We're almost there. Clean is the also is the opposite feeling of cream, but equally powerful. Clean attracts. Clean is the sound of erotic love, of gentle lovemaking, of passion, of pulling things towards you, of attracting things towards you. You know, the, it's a watery, swadhisthanai, liquidy feeling in the heart. And it's kind of a dance between the liquid feeling of the swadhisthana and the throat and the tongue. And the, it's a dance. And clean is called the akarshana shakti, the instant attractor. It draws everything to you and holds it in place. So you just go, <gasps> you just go into orgasmic bliss with Kleem. Kleem is the sound of Krishna and Tripura Sundari or Kameshwari as Tripura Sundari and attracts grace. So she, it is the lover. 
it is the power of union is the kama bija means the sexual desire and fulfillment is the mantra of love and devotion is the power to make desires and wishes come true so claim can be used to make really wish for things you know uh, and then you do shreem to make it happen it improves your sexuality your skin your glow your flow everything gets better your 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 bladder your kidney everything gets better with cream cream is all the bladder it's all those areas down there it makes everything flow you know the yoni linga the prostate all the stuff for men and women that need to flow cream is the beautiful one you know and it brings design divine love and beauty into a dwelling and it's also a powerful aphrodisiac and it but it can be used to 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 make an audience feel wonderful to keep everybody in trance you know if i wanted all of you to have a beautiful orgasmic feeling and be in trance with me i could clean internally and all of you would go into that state you know it's a clean i clean so so tripura sundari's beej mantra is actually clean most people don't know that they think it's i'm clean so or kai ilarim it's clean kameshwari clean all right hum there are two forms of hum one is hum and hum hum is shiva hum is shakti hum is the power of fire and the sword that means it's the throat cutting it is the throat the akasha the dissolving of the ego at the throat is the sword that thro- cuts off all attachment it is the serpent fire that raises kundalini it adds fiery power to other mantras when you say hum astraya fat or cream 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 hum hum cream cream you are adding fire to everything hum astraya fat it is the dhenu bija it is also nurturing because dhenu means the the mother cow that looks after the calf but also fights anybody who comes to touch her calf beat them up is durga in a way it's durga right it's kind of durga esque and whom is the third eye opening to destroy worlds or obstacles it's tejas it's prana raises the fire to increases your vitality but it also detaches you from reality whom is fire so it controls the sun mars and ketu and whom protects the home against negative energies so that's why we do always hum asraya fat hum hum asraya is a weapons to protect my family and my life and my world fat take me to the other side protect me protect us all let's go hum asraya fat power mantra that's a power mantra the next one is equally powerful which is bagla mukhi hlim hlim is uh, in in dashma vidyas it is halarim but here it is hlim hlim is the bija mantra of bagla mukhi hlim stops whatever bad or evil force is affecting you hlim ha represents prana or the power of shiva as or the mother mahamaya kali la represents the calming that should be calming stabilizing effect of the mother and e is the primal sound of shakti so halim so every time you have troubles and you want things to stop bugging you and calm down and remove anger in you halim is a beautiful thing to sound halim 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 and it also gives you ironically success and it also removes obstacles and it is mars and is yellow and is very good with haldi so if you take turmeric with your food it builds immunity and well being so drinking a glass of yellow turmeric liquid in the morning gives you vitality and immunity from everything you know i drink a glass of haldi every morning it's very powerful right it's a beautiful way to start the day it just turmeric yellow bagla mukhi halim 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 drink it up boom i'm clear <laughs> that's a very good way i used to do energy work so you just take a spoon of turmeric put it in a glass of water shake it up and drink it that's it 
or hot water even better you know and it, it also clears the stomach it removes negative energy it's very powerful you know and when you feel that you have a lot of negativity in your life time to start wearing yellow clothes and chanting claim all right wear yellow and chant claim or have yellow around you it brings that power to you it's a shakti of removing obstacles removing blocks yeah okay stream which we we know from the dash mahavidyas as tara is also the sound for durga so durga has two sounds stream stream and and also stream and dum dum but we won't do dum because that's not a beej mantra for shakti stream is the beej mantra for durga and tara the high protective high priestess of heaven basically she is the star gatekeeper she keeps the star for you and she is also the manipura chakra so she is both the mother at the belly that nurtures the umbilical cord and also the mother that takes you to the other side so ta sta sa represents the stability of pure being ta represents in the extension or spread of protection ra indicates fire e is energy so stream is the peace mantra shanti peace nurturing it brings tranquility stream 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 while shream brings grace and golden energy stream removes obstacles nurtures you when you're feeling low and down streaming helps you come back to tara in the belly is the is she's the high priestess of wisdom she's the wife of jupiter brihaspati and the star she's called rohini or aldebaran as the high priestess of heaven so if you see parallels in other traditions you will see it as the star aldebaran and jupiter have a connection to her and she heals during childbirth she is the goddess of childbirth and women's health and she gives all alex streaming tara is for you she is the one you know this is for all astrologers tara direct everything there then the last one of the 10 power streams is stream which is the the star the third eye the pulling of tara at the other end so tara is at your belly and tara is up in the third eye also so stream is the tara mantra of fire or tejas ta indicates rapid spread or crossing over she helps you cross over ra indicates fire to propel e shooting to that other side stream is the sound of fire in a fire stream is the bija sound of the shakti tara or tarini that means also tara but on the third eye stream is the three number three which means that she bridges all duality and takes you back to the source tara to para or to shiva stream opens the third eye and stream takes us across difficulties Dream, dream, dream. So one of the very good ways to do dream is to do the Jyoti Mudra and dream before doing the Jyoti Mudra, and then look up, and you will see the star will become clearer and clearer. Or when you're doing sun gazing in the morning, dreaming will give you power in the third eye to see the sun. She has the same power as dream. So dream and dream are interchangeable, and it. By the way, dream. is has a secret side benefit of abundance so it is uh, it it has a very strong power of abundance basically mm-hmm.